Zinc is the spiritual warrior. It's always fighting for the greater good. Zinc is needed for growth and repair. It's needed uh, as a key mineral for digestion, to make your stomach acid, to make your digestive juices. It's involved in glucose regulation, hormone regulation, immune regulation, neurotransmitter synthesis, and mood and sleep control. Zinc is absolutely one of the most phenomenal minerals that we have. It's second to magnesium in enzymatic functions in the body. And every fluid in your body is lined with zinc. Zinc is the secretor that is in your cerebral spinal fluid, your tear fluids, your sinus secretions, saliva, tonsillar fluid, lung fluid, sweat, breast milk, stomach acid, digestive enzymes, intestinal fluid, urine and menstrual fluid, and synovial fluid. Zinc is absolutely incredible for protecting us. So it is really, truly the great protector. And what blocks zinc? Zinc is blocked by cadmium, by mercury, by aluminum, by copper. So we have to deal with these other elements because they impede and block zinc from getting into the cell. This is why when we assess the status of zinc, we also have to be able to assess the status of the toxic elements to give us a better overall picture to the status of zinc. The fact is, we do not have any zinc stores. We lose 85% of our zinc just daily through digestion, and we must be able to replenish the zinc stores so that we have an immune system, a digestive system to make neurotransmitters, hormones, and everything that we previously talked about. That's a quick synopsis on zinc, my favorite mineral.